Hello, what's going on, guys? Rando uh, here, and welcome again to this another uh, demonstration video. Uh, what I'm going to show you in this video uh, will be we're gonna be exploring the uh, concept of animation and how to animate the texture segments like this, as what you can see in my screen. This is a textures image that I edited in Adobe Photoshop then uh, I was experimenting it to, uh, to make a movement or to make it look like the, the sprite or the image was uh, running but actually uh, it just uh, it's just an image that I was uh, that I edited in the Adobe Photoshop. So take a look at that image and how that image is look like. So this is the image that I was uh, probably uh, edited in Adobe Photoshop. I I just removed the background so uh, it will not be included in the render when the render is called so as you can see uh, uh, it has uh, six uh, cell or columns uh, when I say column it is mean that this line right here that is in the vertical can be that, that is the uh, column well, I mean, because in in logitech uh, the sprite sheet when we, were, when we are using uh, sprites or this one is a sprite sheet and as you can see every there is every frame there are every there are frame and that is almost six columns and three rows and in that uh, each frame there is a uh, guy that is uh, making a movement like this one and in the next uh, frame uh, changing his movement and so on the up to this uh, last row so these are all uh, a combination of image and that is what we call a sprite sheet or sprites it is not uh, making uh, it is not actually running as, as what you can see in my window in the mirror the program program or the game loop it is not actually running but because of the uh, method and the method that we use because we are looping it in the full of statement if you have any idea or uh, if you can through in programming and or at least learn something about how you will uh, uh, render the animation or you make an animation uh, uh, you can you can get an idea uh, how this code was implemented to uh, render uh, and make our sprites like moving Maybe next next video uh, we will get in touch with this kind of uh, classes and how we can use or implement an animation. How we can write the codes to make the spreadsheet like uh, moving or running or uh, 
any B6 so uh, when, when doing an animation you uh, really uh, you can use or the texture region uh, and, and in this texture region class uh, this is an this is a two-dimensional array. There is a texture region that called a two-dimensional array. Uh, I think this is not the uh, texture region, but, but there is a texture region that holding the uh, two-dimensional array image. We can store the image inside of it. Then that is like this one. Texture region. And it is a two dimensional array, which, which the first uh, array sign is actually uh, uh, holding on. Uh, it is uh, it is uh, equivalent to the rows rows of our sprites. So it's the first sign of array. And then the, the other one is for our uh, columns. So if you take this picture, uh, this one right here is this, uh, for example, is a rose. The horizontal line is a rose. You can think about that, it, you can think of it as uh, uh, that is the uh, what you call this one is the first array or first dimensional array, and then you can think of the a vertical line as a column so that is our uh, uh, what you call this one is uh, two dimensional array and the column is holding the, the this is a column represented by column in our in this picture regions uh, method so this is a method that we have you can see that it is a method to split to split the uh, integer and we fix the two integers parameters and, and like this one we, we just uh, instantiate or we just pass a uh, in the constructor to have a parameter that is an integer type and, 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 and that is inside also that is belong in that texture region so, uh, as of now guys, I only 